Israel is escalating its response to the weekend sneak attack by Hamas terrorists, now bringing in fighter jets and striking more than 200 targets overnight in a Gaza City neighborhood. ABC's Inez de la Cutera takes us there. Thick smoke rising over Gaza City as Israel's military continues its retaliatory strikes following last weekend's horrific attack by hundreds of Hamas terrorists who infiltrated Israel. The brutality of those attacks coming to light, the Israel Defense Force saying it's discovered the bodies of murdered women and small children. The more we learn about these sickening atrocities, the worse it gets. Hamas deliberately targeted civilians and massacred, massacred them just because they are Jews. Yoshi Schneider says this chilling footage posted online shows his cousin, Shiri Bibas, and her nine-month-old and three-year-old children being taken prisoner. They're not warriors. They're not soldiers. They're young women, young babies and Holocaust survivors and handicaps. Israel's military says they struck more than 200 targets in Gaza overnight. Gaza's power authority now says it has run out of fuel and electricity. Hospitals there are filled to capacity with Palestinians who've been injured. One American citizen in Gaza trying to evacuate with her three children, telling ABC she feels abandoned by the U.S. Embassy. They say we're going to get you, but they don't. we don't hear anything uh, from them. We all want to go get out of here. Meanwhile, the attacks from Hamas militants continue. A barrage of rockets fired into southern Israel early Wednesday morning. ABC's Matt Gutman on the ground in Ashkelon. Those are interceptors taking out the Hamas rockets, we think. This has been going on all day long, explosion after explosion. So many people in this town have just left. U.S. military aid has already arrived in Israel. President Biden speaking with Prime Minister Netanyahu again today. There is no justification for terrorism. My commitment to Israel's security and the safety of the Jewish people is unshakable. And Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and opposition leader Benny Gantz now agreeing to form an emergency unity government in the wake of these attacks. Inez de la Guterra, ABC News, Tel Aviv, Israel.